Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about yoga straps. So yoga props can seem kind of elusive if you're new to yoga, um, but even if you've been doing yoga for a while, sometimes it's hard to get creative with a strap. So I figured today I would break down five of my favorite ways to use the strap. And some of them are a little bit more creative than others, but I hope that these are helpful for you. So way number one, super basic. Whenever you are doing forward folds, you can just wrap that strap around your feet and use it to keep your spine nice and long. This is especially helpful if you feel like you can't reach your toes in those forward folds. You can use your strap to draw yourself forward while not compromising your low spine. Okay, this is number one. Number two, when you are laying down, you can use your strap to stretch through your hamstring this way and then draw it out to the side. So whenever you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you are actually rotating within your hip socket, okay? You're not like forcing through the joint, um, but a strap can be really great to help you keep that fluid movement and it can extend your arms so that you can actually extend a little farther than you would be able to without the strap, okay? So that's way number two. Number three, we'll come up to stand for this one. Basically, similar principles, that one when we were laying down. When you are doing these standing balances, you can use your strap to draw your leg up and also to draw it out to the side. This is one that is difficult if you can't reach your foot, but the strap really helps to extend in this position. Okay, number four. This one is one of my absolute favorites. So, a little tricky. I'm gonna go back down to the mat. You want to wrap your strap at about the halfway point around the back side of your ankle, okay? You draw the strap together, so you kind of pinch it right here and bring it through your uh, big toe and your second toe. And then draw it underneath the foot. It's almost like you're creating a thong, like a thong sandal with your strap. And then as you come up, you can use this to extend your arm back into dancer. So you can kick your uh, foot back into that strap and really extend, lift. Okay, so that's number four. Number five, we're gonna make our way back down to the mat for this one. This is a nice little hack if you are working on pincha or if you feel like your um, elbows tend to splay out during like headstand or um, dolphin. This one can be really helpful. So what you wanna do is thread your strap through so that it is in a loop, okay? And then tighten it up to the point where it's about the width of your shoulders, like this. Well, actually, no, it's still a little big. Okay, so it's like the width of your shoulders, okay? And then what you do is you slide it right here onto your forearms, preferably so that you're not on the buckle, right? But this will help you to keep a square position. So as you are going into positions like dolphin, or if you're working towards pincha, then you can do this to help you as you're trying to kick in. I'm not gonna do that for you today. Another great tip with this one, um, if you are working to pincha especially, you take a block and hold it right in between your hands with that strap right there. And it'll help to train your shoulders so that they'll keep the proper alignment as you are doing those inversions. So that's that for you. Five ways that you can use your strap. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have any other ways that you like to use your strap or if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. I would love to know your ideas in terms of how you use your strap so that I can expand my practice as well. And that's it. I'll see you soon. Have a great day.